solving projectile problems. So there are really only three kinds of projectile problems that you'll see. Horizontally launched from some initial height, so either from your hand or from a cliff, or even from a flying airplane, something like that. Or launched at an angle above the horizontal, landing at the same height it was launched from. Or launched at an angle, but from some elevation initially. That means it lands at a different height from which it was launched. Okay, so if it's horizontally launched, the horizontal velocity never changes. Okay. Its initial vertical velocity equals zero. So if it says it's horizontally launched with some velocity, that is its horizontal velocity the whole time. The time it takes to hit the ground is the same as the free fall time from that initial height. Okay, the next scenario is launched at an angle, landing at the same height. Now, that angle means it's the angle above the horizontal. So, just like when we did vectors, it's the angle from the positive x direction. So, again, the horizontal velocity never changes, but now it's your x component of your initial velocity. So, it's v naught times cosine of theta, where theta is that angle from the horizontal. The initial vertical velocity is v naught sine theta. The vertical velocity at the top of its path is zero, okay? Just like an object thrown straight up. Now, because it's landing at the same height as it was launched, the time to get to the top is equal to the time to fall. So you can sometimes use symmetry to solve parts of the problem. The third and final variation is launched at an angle from a cliff or some other initial height. All right, again, the horizontal velocity never changes, and it's still the horizontal component of the initial velocity, still v naught cosine theta. The initial vertical velocity, all right, is again v naught sine theta, the vertical component of your initial velocity. The vertical velocity at the top of the path is still zero, just like an object in free fall. However, you have to treat the second part of motion like a horizontally launched projectile, okay? It has that same horizontal velocity that never changes through the whole problem, but since the height it goes up initially is not equal to the height it falls, okay, essentially the second part of the motion is a horizontally launched projectile that, because there's zero vertical velocity at the top. All right, next we'll walk through some sample problems.